this guy took the longest route to Koja. And I was like, why are you taking the longest route? At Madame, you know that is traffic. Let me just use this route. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Alwa. And on today's video, we're doing something different. We are not talking about business. I'm not plugging you in anything. We are telling a story on this Boda Boda guys. I know Kukwa Boda Boda is a business. Hmm? But these people, some of them manipulators. Anyway, this is how it went. So, I was running errands for a certain customer. I do run errands for people who wants to buy things in wholesale. So, I was running errands for this specific customer. This customer had ordered for duvet. The bulky duvet, the woolen duvet, the heavy ones. So, I bought like around six pieces and stuffed them in a gunia. So, I was like, hey, carrying this gunia to Koja, it's not easy. Besides... I'm a baby girl, so I don't want to carry music, go around the town. So I decided that I should take a Boda Boda to Koja. Kumbuka, this duvet, I had removed them from Kamkunji. I was in Kamkunji shopping for the duvet. So I decided that being that I'm in Kamkunji and Koja is far, I should just decide... I should just choose a Boda Boda. There was one Boda Boda just there, standing there. And I called the guy and I asked him, how much will it cost me to get to Koja? And he was like, Madam, we are in Kamkunji, so it will be. From here to Koja will be 300. And I was like, no, 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 no. I can't pay you 300 because even the place I'm going is too far. And I don't even, they don't even charge me 300. So 300 is just too much for me. Maybe I can give you 200 if you're okay with that. And the guy was like, just bought the Boda Boda. You're going to talk when you get there. And I was like, no, 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 no. To Malize, sorry, Papa, like, let's get done. Let's make a deal. If it's 200, I'm, I'm taking the Boda Boda. If it's not 200, then there is no need of taking the Boda Boda in the first place. Because once, you know, the way they behave, he will tell you 300 that then once you reach there, they'll be like, oh, madam, you say you're three, so you look at me, 300. Then I So I was like, no, let's make an agreement. So guys, the guy agreed to take the 200. And then I told the guy, I'm going to Koja, past Koja. That roundabout ya Koja. Kukuna kakonapo kwa roundabout. Nenge kwa yokonapo ndo penye napandia magari. And the guy was like, okay, I'll take you up to there. See, I took the border with my mzigo. Guys, this guy took the longest route to Koja. And I was like, why are you taking the longest route? At Madam, you know that is traffic. Let me just use this route. And I told him, I hope you're not going to add more fare. Your dad was decided to take this route. And he was like, no, I won't add any more fare. So guys, we took the longest route to Koja. We rounded from Kamkunji to Ngara to town. You can imagine how long that route is. So this guy took me to Koja. Before we reached Koja, there was jam in between. And this guy was like, you know what, madam? Unona pale kwa ile bridge na konga na jam kingeta au kitoka Ngara. That area. Kulikuwa na jam. And this guy was like, madam, shuka hapa. Utembe, hapa kuna jamba, kuna vijia tutamanage. Hakuna vijia tutamanage na nikona mzigo. Like, I took basically because I had mzigo. Nige kwa mansolo, nige tembea from kamkunji to town. And you are here telling me, nichukue, nitembe, kwa yu bridge ya kuingia tao from Ngara, na yu mzigo yangu. At yes, madam, shuka, shuka, sezi ingia huko. Eh, guys, and I was like, no, siyezi shuka, na nikishuka, sikulipi, jujanifikisha. And I was like, madam, stop being rude. <laughs> so who is being rude here? Mini kamambia, hakuna venyen, mida kulipa pesa yako na ujanifikisha pinyo naenda. Tuliagiri unanifikisha koja, you round about ya koja. And again, I have mzigo, that's why nilichukua piki piki. 
akasema sawa so guys he maneuvered hadi tukafika place nyingine hapo ni round about yes but si penye nilikuwa nimetumia agree so nikamwambia ndio ile pale penye tunaenda iko tu hapo mbele so ni drop hapo then you can go and the guy was like madam sikupeleki shuka hapa na mzigo yako sikupeleki na pesa yangu unanipea and i was like no i'm not going to give you money kama hujanipeleka hiyo time bado sijashuka from the border i was still on the border border so i was like no i'm not going to give you money just nipeleke this guy refused refused hadi sasa alikuwa anataka kutanisha pikipiki arudi place ametoka so mimi nikashuka nikashuka cuz he wanted me to shuka nikashuka nikamwambia sasa jujanifikisha na kukata 50 bob instead of 200 i'll give you 150 in fact umeje this guy did what akaniambia hata si tuso tulikuwa tume agree 300 madam <laughs> tulikuwa tume agree 300 madam si 200 nikamwambia what ati tulikuwa tume agree how much ati tulikuwa tume agree 300 na nipeo 3 so nikamwambia sikupei 3 so nikamwambia sikupei 3 so in fact that day i had 1000 bob yenye ningempea easily na regeshe change but now i opted for fuliza i actually fulizard the money ndo this impacts us nikamwambia sikupei 3 so akasema madam ni pepe pesa yangu nikamwambia sikupei 3 so na kupea 200 akasema pana Atunacheza na sisi watu wa boda sijui na tuonanga aje nikamwambia boss mimi sina haja na kazi yako kazi yenu unafanya ni wewe chagua apart from that kuna wenye wanafanya hata other jobs zenye si boda kuna hawkers kuna like all types of work na wajonange roma but what happens with this boda boda people why are they always like oh boda boda are being manipulated oh boda boda sijui ni nini and yet that the people manipulating us So I told him to just stop being petty and to just stop acting the way he was acting up and just to stop all those things he was doing like kamwambia kufanya kazi ya boda si mbaya unaona but he mambo ya kujionea uroma uroma hapa ndio mbaya na in fact na kupea 200 yako na ukuleta nyenye I'm sending through the phone ukuleta nyenye I can even reverse that money and the guy was like usinijaribu madam usinijaribu oh my god Oof. do you know what I did I screamed loud in the middle of CBD. Nili scream. Nikamwambia one more wrong move na ni scream na niseme wewe niseme you are a thief. Hakuna mimi nitakubali ni haras. Guys, mimi niliambia wao jamaa hakuna mimi nitakubali ni haras. We already made an agreement, ajanifikisha, I've agreed to pay him the money and he's already trying to harass me. Ati madam usilete hizo, utaona sijui nini nini. Guys, nikaanza kupiga kelele nikaanza kupiga kelele nika watu wakaanza kukuja hapo around ah watu wakaanza kupiga kukuja hapo around like me i was just so pissed off so i sent him the money i sent him that 200 but i just sent him because at least alikuwa amenifikisha half the journey unaona but kitu liko na nimbe to take that money and reverse take that money and reverse like literally guys i know i'm not the first person to experience this with this boda boda people but one thing i want to tell you guys if you are a boda boda man or a woman kufanya kazi ya boda boda si kitu mbaya na si ule mavu that you start seeking sympathy and empathy everywhere in the name of oh mimi mtu wa boda boda sijui mimi ni mtu wa boda boda sijui mimi nifanyia madharau unaendesha boda guys hiyo ni kazi hiyo ni kazi na inawalisha so just stop being so sympathetic just stop being so sympathetic when it comes to your job unaona kuna wenye wanafanya kazi zingine zenye bado hata si poa venye naweza sema si poa yes now how they join your room like mimi mbona nafanyanga tu hii kazi mimi sijui mnani sijui nimfanyia nini because i'm just at, the, at this like literally this boda boda guys they've been harassing people na not only me acha acha tu madem walikuwa na haraka so kitabu na utaboda unakumbuka hiyo season yenye kama wewe ni demo na mvango fupi watu wa boda wanakutwanisha uchi ukipita tu pale wanakutwanisha uchi this same boda boda people are the ones who snatch phones pia kuna nyona snatch phone i'm not saying all of them 
but kuna wenye nafanya hiyo kaza kusnatch phones like what the hell what's wrong with you guys anyway mimi tulimaliza na ujama i sent him his money after sending him his money he went i also left siku reverse door lakini mimi nilikuwa nimepanga tu angejaribu kunifanyia kitu mbaya ninge create scene nyingine hapo angeza hao kwa maisha yake cuz the moment he started that usijaribu hiyo madam mtakuonyesha mambo guys that's when i just started screaming from nowhere like unaona women are being killed everywhere nowadays na sijui nini women are getting harassed mimi nilisema ujamani haras na sita kubalia ni haras mimi nili scream watu wakaanza kukuja hapo na ningetengeza tu story nyingine mbaya na anyway i don't like the experience i don't like the experience naelewa ni kazi lakini that experience mm -mm. if you agree with somebody like i'm taking you somewhere for this amount please stick to that that's why even i prefer this uber uber and bolt and hizo zingine because at least they write the amount that you're supposed to pay but you unafika pale alafu mtana change pay oh my god Anyway, guys, let me just know in the comment section what's your experience with the border border guy? What's the worst experience to make one out to a border border cause mimi I feel like Sijai kwa experience mzuri na wa border. Sijawai kwa na experience mzuri na wa border. This people are always just harassing you, behaving so funny. Na ni wao hata kwa barabara, kwa barabara wanaendesha on the wrong side. Wanaendesha on the wrong side. Wanangoja tu wagonge kidogo kesi kwe ama sijui wafanyeni nini kidogo kesi kwe kwe unadhulumu watu wa boda oh my god just stop being petty this pity party things ah mwachane nayo mwachane tu nayo kabisa fanya biashara pata pesa yako maisha yendele lakini mambo ya sijui kujionea roma it won't help you it won't help you Anyway, even as I am speaking, watch and manage the video and then border in the pen in the stage. Lakini nayo tuko sasa. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let's meet on our next video.